Okay, good morning, ladies. How's everybody doing? Good morning, good morning. Everybody's been having a little bit of technical difficulties today. Um, Pastor Kelly's got issues going on, and so I'm going to try. She had planned to put our computer in the shop, and um, when we got back from Crown, and we haven't quite got that done yet, but we're going to see if we got some people jumping on. Just um, let me know where you're watching from, and we're just going to pray I'm able to stay on here. Good morning. Wasn't crowned amazing? Hi, Noemi. Jeannie, Joya, good to see ya. Christina, Shelly, love you ladies. Jeannie, Linda Everett, hi. April, good to see you on here. Good morning, Karen. So good to hug necks at Crown and put names with faces faces and my goodness wasn't it just so powerful and um wasn't able to be on live yesterday had my grandbaby really early and so anyway but let's just come together today and get a few minutes in for sure again sorry for uh the lateness but just technical difficulties all the way around but we love you i'm pastor patrice brown if this is your first time i do love seeing people from time to time say this is my first time and you you ladies are so great and you just say welcome and i just love that i love this community and i love you so much and thanks for being patient and jumping on here with us so lord we love you today we honor you father and we just say thank you for the opportunity that we have to come before you today with thanksgiving with honor and with praise we love you i just bless all these ladies watching 120 of us um, we just say thank you that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. And we just lift up Pastor Callie today. We honor her. We just say thank you for our fearless leader. We just thank you that she is so faithful and um, just wants to hear from you, Lord, and just has a heart to see our nation turn, to see revival come to Texas into the United States and just to see a move of God and people being set free in these last days. So we just bless Pastor Callie. We honor her. We love her. And we say thank you, Lord Jesus, for her. We just ask you, Lord, to bless Pastor Bob, bless their children, their grandchildren. We just bless that entire family. We just thank you for generational blessing, legacy, over that family in Jesus' name, that blended family, Lord, over Pastor Callie's children and grandchildren, Pastor Bob's children and grandchildren. We just thank you for legacy over that family in Jesus' name. Generational blessing, Lord. We bless their businesses. We bless their ministry. We bless Pastor Todd and Cindy Mori and COL. We just pray refreshing over um, everyone at COL, Lord. I know that so many, especially their ladies team, just gave out and gave out. We just bless Pastor Chris Finney and Pat, Miss Pat, we love you, and April Holtz, we bless you today. You guys just did such a wonderful, amazing job. Pastor Karen Edwards and the ladies team, we just love you, and we just say thank you for giving and giving, and we just pray um, that everyone is just energized and strengthened, Lord, and we just say thank you for covering Pastor Todd and Cindy's children, Lord, that they they give out as well at, as at all these events. And we just bless Leland. He's out on tour right now uh, with Phil Wickham and Matt Marr. We just bless him today. And we just pray that you just be with Mandy and the kids as he's out on tour. Just bless that family today. Lord, we break every word curse spoken over Pastor Callie in Jesus' mighty name. And we just thank you, Lord God, for uh, breaking every assignment of the enemy loosing her from all effects, all demonic assignments. We break off all witchcraft, all incantations, um, all hexes. We break them off of her. We break them off of her physical body, off of her mind, off of her spirit. I think you, Pastor Callie, is going to finish strong the assignment that you've given her, Lord God. And we just bless her and we bless um, Mothers and Zion Page. That's us. I just bless every... Um, person that's associated with page this page i think there's 13,000 followers and lord we just call those women back in those women that watched during the pandemic when things were just really crazy and um, people were uncertain and scared and didn't know what was happening lord we don't want a another pandemic to have to be what it takes to get us on our faces so lord we just call those women back in 
we just call those women back in, whether it be live or on replay. We just thank you, Lord God, for women praying. And I thank you for the faithful ones on this page that just get on here every single day. Some watching live, some on replay, but they're faithful to come before you. And I just bless them. I bless every lady associated with their this page with their families. I just bless them. I bless marriages today. I thank you, Father, that our children are going to serve you all the days of their lives. Just type in your kids' names, your grandkids. Lord, I pray for those women that are standing in the gap for families. I pray for those women that are standing in the gap for prodigals, spiritual children, biological children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, generationals. We just thank you. The prodigals are coming home in Jesus' mighty name, and we just say thank you for that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for moving, moving, moving on behalf of the faithful women on this page every single day. I just bless all 180 of us coming together, unifying, unifying our hearts and praying um, in as one mighty entity, agreeing in prayer. I love praying the prayer of agreement. Um, one of us can put a thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000. We thank you, Lord, that we touch and agree today for children, for marriages, for families. I bless all the single mamas today in Jesus' name. I bless all of you widow widows today, no matter what your age is. God has got you. He is your husband right now. I just thank you for blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just love you, Lord God. We love you. We honor you. We lift up Pastor Bob and Jenny Donnelly. We just thank you, Lord God, for just blessing Pastor Jenny today, their children. We just continue to lift up Hannah as she's away from home at school. We just thank you for her music and the gifting that and the anointing that is upon her as she's at worship school. We just bless them with divine health and protection. We just say thank you for blessing their businesses, their finances. We bless the collective church and Pastor Ben and Heather Rose as they co-lead with that. We bless all of the Her Voice team. Lord, those ladies also that just poured out at the altar, Rachel Plyer, Tiffany and Jeremy Cummings, uh, Josh and Michelle Craig. We just bless Tiffany and her family, her little boy. We bless... Um, uh, Sophie and her family today, Lord God. We bless uh, John and Brenda Harvey. We just bless all of the Her Voice team. Anybody else that I left out, Cynthia Pena, we just bless them today, Lord God, all of the Her Voice team, all the extended ministry leadership team of Her Voice. We bless um, Tetelestine Ministries. We bless the physical property there at Crestview Manor, and we just thank you for that, that property being debt-free in Jesus' name. Thank you for supernatural blessing over that property and freedom in Jesus' name. We just thank you for, for all that happens on that property, all the intensive, the youth meetings, the youth um, revivals, Lord God, um, business meetings, worship meetings, all of the intensives that happen there on the physical property, the Her Voice movements of the past and rallies. We just thank you, Lord God. We just thank you for just blessing that property. We thank you that seeds of revival and anointing are in that property. In Jesus' name, because it used to be owned by Foursquare and Amy Simple McPherson. There are miracles seated in the ground there. And so we just thank you. But at the same time, Lord, we know there is great um, demonic activity coming against that physical property. So in Jesus' name, we just thank you for just breaking every assignment off of the, the property there at Crestview Manor. And we just say thank you, Lord, for your hand being upon it and upon Pastor Jeannie and her team. I just pray strategy from heaven in Jesus' name. Strategy from heaven in the name of Jesus for Pastor Jenny, her team, as they're planning for um, Her Voice 2023. We thank you for 5,000 praying women coming to that event. And do you know why we're saying praying women? Because there is such a demonic force over that city. We're going to be downtown. We're going to be where Antifa ruled and reigned for 186 straight days during the pandemic. And you hear Pastor Jenny talk about the revelation she got from the Lord during the pandemic, how she watched them organize and meet and destroy 
day after day after day after day. I decree and declare 5,000 organized praying women are going to meet and we're going to destroy the devil's kingdom in Portland, Oregon in July 12th, 13th, and 14th in 2023. In Jesus' mighty name, we go before right now and we ask you, Lord, to even now in at the end of January, six months out, that you send angel armies to prepare for what's going to happen in Portland, Oregon, in Jesus' name. And we say thank you for what we are going to do. And we, th we say thank you for all the funds coming in because the tickets are free. And so we say thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're meeting every single need. I love one thing I love about the Her Voice Movement and Pastor Jenny, they're on a budget, but they do everything first class to the best of their, their ability. And Pastor Callie does too. You hear her talking about every nickel, every dime is accounted for. I thank you that we are following ladies that are of um, integrity and morality, um, especially with finances. So we say thank you, Lord God, that you are going to move in Jesus' name um, financially and provide every single need for her voice and every single free ticket that's already been claimed we just thank you for airfare ladies being able to drive in all the lodging and food money that's needed we call it forth in jesus name and we thank you for a sold out event packed out event five thousand praying women warring women doing battle over portland oregon the pacific northwest seeing revival come in and change that city for Jesus, as well as the entire country, Lord, that we're going to see a marked shift. And Lord, we just thank you for Crowned. We thank you for all that you did at Crowned in Jesus' name. I'm sitting down, ladies. I'm not used to praying sitting down. It's hard. I get going and I get I get antsy. <laughs> but we say thank you, Lord, for what you did at Crowned, that many of us received our marching orders. Lord God, and we are women on mission, women on assignment. We are gonna not going to let up. We're not going to shut up. We're going to do what you've called us to do. And we say thank you, Lord God, for all that you're doing in the mighty name of Jesus through the Her Voice Movement, through Pastor Jenny, uh, through Pastor Callie. And Lord, we just um, uh, join right now with Pastor Callie and for what the vision that you've given her for America and for Texas. Lord, we thank you for um, 5,000 prayer hubs in Texas. That's what Pastor Callie is, is agreeing and praying for and believing for. So we just agree with that vision and just pray for strategy from heaven for her to implement that. And Lord, she's also praying for tents, for a tent revival that she's believing that's going to go in the history books. Um, and we're going to see um, just a massive revival, tent revivals, whatever that looks like, the finances for that, Lord God, the, the logistics for that, the people for that. The strategy for that, we call it in for Pastor Callie today in Jesus' name. And we just say thank you for that. And out of that, Lord God, revival is going to sweep throughout America, Lord, that it's going to be a sending revival. People are going to come. They're going to get filled up. They're going to get assignments. They're going to get their marching orders. And we just stand in the gap for that, Lord God. And we agree for Pastor Callie and all that um, is needed for that to take place, all the the funds, and we just thank you for that couple that stepped up before they even left the event that, that said we're going to provide a tent um, in, in the Houston area, the first one. We say thank you for that and let that just be the first fruits of many in Jesus' mighty name. And we say thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Let everybody say I agree in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We just say thank you for that, Lord God. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I just want to lift up um, our Congress. Um, I was watching just a news clip uh, last night of our speaker. Um, you know, it took so long to get the speaker in, and I really wasn't sure. I was just praying the will of God. I really wasn't sure what direction um, we needed to go. But I just watched the speaker of our house, McCarthy, last night just, just taking authority with the press and answering some questions and not backing down. So Lord, we just continue to lift up um, our nation and the political things that are happening. Lord, uh, first and foremost, we're Christians before we're um, donkeys and elephants. Um, uh, we are Christians. And so Lord, we just say thank you um, for um, Christ followers that are serving in Congress, rising up and holding the line and doing what is right. 
And um, we just say thank you for strong leadership, strong conservative leadership. That's what we're after. Strong con conservative leadership that will stand for life, that will stand for the biblical definition of marriage, that will stand to protect our children. That's what we're after in Jesus' name. And so, Lord, we just thank you for um, our political leaders, whichever side of the coin they're on, to stand up and to do what is right and to fight for life, to fight for marriage, to fight for our children, to fight for the definition of men and women um, as, as laid out by you, as created by you in your word, Lord God, men and women, that's what you created. We just say thank you, Lord God, for a strong conservative group in our Congress and our political arenas rising up, break off fear, break off um, all um, fraud, break off um, those assignments uh, for men and women that want to do back room shady deals under the hand, under the table, underhanded deals, break those things off. And we just pray for men and women of morality and integrity to step up and let their light shine now more than ever in Jesus name. And we say, thank you for that, Lord God. Thank you for that. And both sides of the coin, we lift up our Congress. We lift up our House of Representatives in Jesus name. And we thank you, Lord God, for men and women standing for life, standing for marriage, standing in Jesus name now more than ever before. And we say thank you, Lord, for um, men and women that get it. Men and women that realize uh, what what a balancing act and a teetering um, act that we are on right now in this nation. Father God, we're, we're at a pivotal moment in this nation like Lou Engle talked about at um, Crowned. We're in a place, Lord God, where it can literally go either way. Bloody America, um, like the Civil War, or Bloody America, like covered by the blood of Jesus. So as for me and my house, we will stand in the gap. We will, we will fast, we will pray, and we will believe for the blood of Jesus covering our Congress, covering... Um, this nation, covering our White House, covering our Supreme Court and judicial system, covering Washington, D.C., and believing for the mountain of government to um, to be turned and to shift in this nation. In Jesus' mighty name, anybody with me? All 204 of us, we unite right now and we pray in agreement, Lord God, for the turning of the mountain of government in Jesus' name. Now more than ever before, we stand together in agreement. One can put a thousand, but two can put 10,000 to flight. So we stand for the shifting. We stand for the turning in Jesus' name. We ask, Father God, that you loose angel armies to be loosed in Washington, D.C., to be put in strategic places, pivotal places in Jesus' name. And we say thank you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus cover this nation. Let the blood of Jesus cover our government. Let the blood of Jesus cover the White House. Let the blood of Jesus cover the House. Let the blood of Jesus cover the Senate. Let the blood of Jesus cover the Supreme Court. Let the blood of Jesus cover the mountain of government now more than ever before. In Jesus' name, we stand in the gap. We stand in the balance. We stand right now, having done all sin, and say, not on our watch. Let the turning happen, Lord God. Let the turning happen. The bloody America is the blood of Jesus covering this station nation and we say let it turn let it turn come on can we pray united in the holy spirit right now united in heart and mind and spirit let it happen in our lifetime lord god let it turn let it save our children and our children's children it's all hanging in the balance it's all at stake right now and we say no not on our Watch your bacasse era da yetere, yondara ya sundara yetere yetere, yondara da ya da 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 yondara yo sundara yetere yetere. Now in Jesus' name, now in Jesus' name, let the turning happen, let the shift happen. Lord, you see all 205 of us united in prayer. Yondara da ya sundara ye. We agree together for this nation. We stand in the gap. Yondara ya sundara ye. Praying mamas, praying grandmas, praying single women, praying. 
praying women, we unite our hearts together and say, yes, let it happen, Lord. Cover this nation. We stand in the gap, having done all stand, and say no, no, no to the enemy, and yes, yes, yes to the Father. We will do our part. We will pray. We will fast. We will get up at 6 a.m. We will get up at, at, at 8 a.m., and we will pray together Monday through Friday and unite our hearts because it matters. It matters. We matter, and I care. Like our, our hub bracelets proclaim, I care. It matters. We matter. We are making a difference. We decree and declare. We are making a difference. We break the lie of the enemy that it doesn't matter if we sleep in, that we roll over and get some extra sleep. And I'm not talking about when you really need rest. I'm talking about we break off lethargy and we break off um, apathy and we break off laziness. We break it off of our lives and say, no, we will go forth. We will be strong in the Lord and the power of his might because we can do all things through Christ. We can go where you've called us to go. We can do what you've called us to do. We can pray how you've called us to pray. We are mighty. We are mighty and we are doing mighty exploits in the spirit as we unite and pray to every single day, Monday through Friday. And we thank you for those that joined Pastor uh, Jenny on Word on Wednesday. And Lord, I'd lift up prayer hub leaders right now. I especially especially lift up those 400 ladies that we ask to activate prayer hubs at Crown. We thank you as women all over the building stood. I thank you that nothing is going to stop them from finishing the process, beginning to call together another one or two or three ladies and set a time and meet and pray that prayer guide and make a difference in their home, in their their community, in their uh, city, in their region, in their state. We call for 250,000 prayer hubs in Jesus' name and 1 million praying women that are going to meet in Washington, D.C. and pray and make a difference in this nation. I decree and declare there will be a women's movement called Her Voice and we will go down in the history books as seeing homes change, as seeing children change, as seeing marriages just, um, just saved and turned around as seeing um, cities and churches change, regions change, because women dare to believe I can make a difference with my little two or three friends getting together at least monthly, one time a month and praying. And I just pray for those that will hear the voice of the Lord to say, begin to do it every week. You can do better, daughter. You can do more. I'm going to gather. I thank you for the gathering of women. I thank you for the gathering of praying women, like-minded women of faith coming together. I thank Thinking that our prayer hubs are going to be evangelistic. I think that ladies are going to get filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues in our prayer hubs. I think that prayer hubs are going to shift cities. They're going to shift neighborhoods. They're going to shift regions. They're going to shift entire states. And I lift up our our um, leaders, Cynthia Pena and Jody Mamulo and Pastor Christine Baker. I thank you for our regional leaders, empowering them and women coming along underneath them, Lord God. And I thank you that prayer hubs are going to begin to grow like never before. We're going to have to have more leaders and, and um, just see more people brought in to help and to assist in Jesus' name because they're going to begin to grow. So I call forth prayer hubs in those states that don't have any so far. I don't even know what they are, but Lord, you know. So I thank you for moving on ladies on this prayer call, moving on ladies that watch on War, uh, Word on Wednesday with Pastor Jenny. And I thank you for states that have no prayer hubs to begin to um, rise up and you begin to put it in ladies' hearts, Lord God. I thank you for the gathering. I thank you for the massive gathering of prayer hub leaders. Shift us. Shift us, God. Shift us. Shift us right now. Shift us into strategy. Shift us into movement. Shift us into making change. Shift us, Lord God, in our identity, knowing that we can do all things, knowing that we've been called for such a time as this, as Esther, knowing that we have a stake in our hand like Jehel, and we can shove it through the enemy's head in Jesus' name because we have authority by the name and the blood of Jesus. So we thank you for prayer hubs this year. Let this be our year that the shift happens in the prayer hubs. Lord God, that we see exponential uh, multiplication like never before. Because God, you added to the church daily in the book of Acts. But I thank you that you're not just about addition. You are all about multiplication. So I thank you for this being our year for those hubs 
multiplying in the name of Jesus. I thank you for exponential multiplication in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for moving on our behalf. We agree together, amen? We agree together, ladies. Are you in agreement with me? Thank you, Lord, that we're going to see it happen this year. Mobilization. Mobilization of women praying. Mobilization. I thank you that we are going to get over ourselves in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to get over ourselves in the mighty name of Jesus. And we're going to say, I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it looks like. I'm going to do what I'm called to do. I'm going to step out. I'm going to launch out into the deep and when I do that it's going to be like I step on nothing out on nothing but when I do that God's going to be like Peter when he stepped out of the boat walking on the water the water congealed and it became firm and Peter walked on water I decree and declare as you step out of the boat as you say yes to the Lord as he has your yes you're going to step out and God is going to meet you there and there's going to be a gathering anointing on you and you're going to lead hubs I thank you that many of you are going to lead you're going to just um, begin to start hubs. It's going to just be like um, a snowball effect. You're going to start one and it's going to hit seven or eight and someone's going to come to you and say, I think I can do this. And you're going to launch them out and it's going to happen over and over.